I'm Neville Martin from Guitarist Magazine and I'm Richard Barrett. Today we're looking at a couple of Gordon Smith Gatsby guitars. Um, they're offsets, which is a very popular thing these days. Most people seem to be making uh, offset guitars, they seem yes. to be very popular. Yeah, they've taken their place alongside the other kind of classic designs. Yep. Yeah, they, I think they used to be kind of bit, a bit marginalised, you know, in the early days surf guitars were, were, were the, the offsets guitars were surf guitars, later on they became the indie guitar and then the grunge guitar. Yeah. And Elvis Costello played yeah. that one, or sort of jangly. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, so that sort of post-punk yeah. kind of thing. It seemed, it's, like many guitars um, that became later sought after, um, when these gu guitars were used by the, the young people, if you want to use that, in those days, it's because they were out of favour. Nobody wanted that kind they of guitar. They were more affordable, they were and yes, so that all those guys used them and made amazing sounds with them. And then the look is there's definitely something about the look of an offset guitar. Yes, um, these are both different in terms of their well, not in their construction, but in terms of their materials. Yes, I think mine is a poplar body. Yeah, because um, yep. it's got this solid finish on it, nicely yep. done as well. Yeah, and and this is swamp ash. Um, and it's a fantastically grain piece of swamp ash on the back there. Yeah. Um, it weighs a fair bit. I don't know what it's going to be, but I think it's getting it towards nine pounds. Yeah, I reckon mine's about that. It's balanced yeah. and everything. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, very balanced. That's one of the great things about them, that they were extremely balanced. Yeah. All, that was all, always the thing. Um, yeah, that's true, isn't it? It reflects the fact that it really will be played at that kind yeah, of angle. exactly. And well, before we kind of go into the nitty-gritty of these, they're available with more or less any kind of hardware well, pick up yeah. options you like, aren't they? I had a look on the um, Gordon Smith website and so yeah. I, I think it's about eight different finishes and you can specify which body wood you want. I mean, I'm guessing mm. that, because that's a little bit, um, adds about 100 quid onto the price yeah. Yeah. Um, for the for the Swamp Ash, so you'd probably be wanting to show that off, wouldn't you, with a translucent yeah. finish? Yeah. But the, you can have humbuckers uh, with various different colours like zebras, zebras and black white, yeah, and exactly, chrome yeah, yeah. Um, and these P90s which are made in-house by Gordon Smith yeah, there's a nice yeah. little in, uh, etch on yeah, there yeah um, yeah the chrome covers as we have here or white or black yeah yeah and um, different uh, bridge setups we've got the HK41 it's always really difficult trying to remember the model. Yeah. I was not wanting to get them wrong, but I'm pretty confident I'm right there. HK41, which is the traditional kind of... It's the, um, the classic jazz master type yeah. of, the, yeah. of thing. Um, and uh, we've... And quite nice brass roller saddles. They're very there nice, actually. Well. They, they are very nice. Thing. In fact, all the, all the hardware seems really, really nice quality. I mean, that reminds me, actually, looking on the website, you can spec... The, the brand of pots, you know, so I think it's an upgrade to go to the real full on CTS, CTS and yeah. switchcraft yeah. switches, which is, you know, I, I think that it depends, you know, whether you're touring or. Yeah, to, to some people that matters, others won't give a jot about it. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah if it's, you like the sound. It's one of those things, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, I, I, again, th 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 this does look great. Um, mm. Interestingly, it's got the. Trust for adjust, adjustment at the end yeah, here. Yeah, and it's two way which, as yeah, well. Okay, which so it means you can adjust it forward and back. So yeah, you don't usually have that you can just, yeah. awful thing where you can't undo yeah. it and it's yeah. still got a reverse bow. Mm. So that's quite that's quite handy to do. So there's no, none of that business of taking the neck off or you haven't got the bullet at the end there which can weaken a neck. Less yeah. so on a maple neck like this, but but they can do. Yeah. Um, yeah. One piece maple neck, but this these have got separate maple fingerboards yes yep. so they're not they're not one uh, one one whole piece for both so mm. the, so there's no skunk stripe on the back oh and they're 12 inch radius yep um yep. and these frets are finished nicely aren't they medium jumbo they're really nice actually they, they are really nice they're, they're 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 very well very well set up straight out yeah. of the box really nice yeah plays great and yep. 22 fret neck as well, a 25 and a half inch scale yep. and 22 fret neck. Yeah, and it's got that rather nice scooped Oh yeah, so it means that the, you've uh, got... Yeah. Yeah, got that yeah. nice comfortable And these are grip. also launch edition, so the, the, this is the... Um, yeah. Perhaps they come with special colours. I know with cars now you often get the launch edition, it comes in a kind of bright yellow for the first year, then they change <laughs> it. But this, this is, that's rather nice, and it says actually says launch edition on there. The Gordon yeah, Smith, the same thing. The serial mm. number, Gatsby, launch edition. 
Yeah. Uh, and it says handcrafted in the UK on the back of the headstock yeah. there. So it's a it's a rather kind of classy looking thing, I think. Yeah, it's, it's a, a, an impressive package. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And um, having had a bit of a play with them, quite versatile sound-wise. Yeah. I mean, it's not the traditional kind of offset covered in different knobs and switches, but I, I think it's a pretty versatile instrument. I mean, shall we have a... Yeah, we, yeah I mean, it's a, it's a classic two pickup, simple setup, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's make a bit of noise. Yeah, the thing about these guitars is, not these guitars, but this shape, and I won't go on about the shape much more, but they do get pigeonholed, don't they? I must confess, uh, I'm a bit guilty of that, or have been, Yeah, really, yeah. I tend to think of certain styles where you've got prominent players that have... Yeah, you think of the kind of the surf them, yeah. stuff, Yeah, you know, and or, or you think of the grunge stuff, and, and they do a certain thing, but that in itself shows how versatile even they were. Uh, and, and these guitars have got much more kind of cogent, coherent layout. I mean, those, some of those yes, guitars yeah. are so quirky that the blues players never wanted to do them, never wanted to use them because yeah. they, there was too much going on. Blues players wanted the simplicity of a three-way or a five-way or, you know, a toggle switch and yeah, whatever. Yeah, and they, to they use didn't, it on the fly rather than... Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, I think maybe that's a guitarist thing. I, I personally don't like a lot of no, switches and no. buttons. Yeah. Well, I don't. But these aren't like that. These are uh, they've taken that look, and they've transferred a normal guitar onto it, if you like. And and even um, though even so, I mean to say is that we, we found ourselves playing something a bit jangly, didn't we, a minute yeah. ago? And it does yeah. that. But I've realised that with with a P90 and a and a distorted amp, then. <laughs> And what you said earlier when we were talking about the whole pigeonhole thing about Pete Towns and, you know, playing yeah, won't you, get fooled again on you, a Gretsch. You, yeah, <laughs> you, you think it would be an SG through a high watt. It was a Gretsch through yeah. a Fender Bandmaster. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's probably the best A chord ever, play, <laughs> ever played in rock music. Yeah. So, yeah, don't, don't get pigeonholed again, as it were. Yeah, yeah, so, and there's no reason to on here. No, give, mean, us, give us a few sounds off that. Right, right. I mean, well, I'll start again with the bridge. <laughs> It's a medium gain crunch, yep. isn't it? And then yep. if I... It's a, a useful roll-off tone. Very, it's not yeah. one of those guitars that is on or off, no, you know, the no, kind of no. thing. And... So balanced. versatile, very nice actually. All of those tones were lovely. And it's, yeah, just straight into a single channel. And I think everything's been well chosen and well voiced. You know, the well, value the of Gordon the Gordon Smith and brand and has been around years and years yeah, and years. Yeah. And, and they are known for being great guitars, built really well, very affordable. And yes. they know exactly what they're doing. And they've been doing it for years and years and years. So. 
So this isn't some new brand that sprung out of nowhere, that the Gatsby uh, model is, is, is a new model, which is brilliant. It's lovely to see that they're branching out into yes, guitars yeah. like this. Yes, they were more into the kind of glued neck, fixed bridge type of guitar. Yeah, definitely. what I remember, yeah. you know, way, way yeah, back. Yeah, the junior adverts. style thing, yes. isn't that whole junior mm, which style? Which I always thought was very appealing looking at. Stripped down, I, I, I love that whole look and stuff. So this vibrato system, which is the... HK41. It's clearly based on that original uh, guitar that, 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 that the other company designed. The other company. Uh, but it's quite interesting because using that little slider switch here you can lock this arm into place so it doesn't work as a tremolo um, yeah good if you break a string yeah it's, it's exactly, a, a really exactly, good idea yeah. actually yeah you'd need to set it up for that this, this isn't really set up for that at the moment no they, neither of these are set up for that at, at the moment but yeah. with a bit of patience and a screwdriver it could be done. exactly exactly but um so everything about the guitars um i haven't played that one yet but everything about them hangs together everything's done for you the player um, you know, that, that truss rod adjustable there, you don't have to go mad yeah, with it. Yeah, I like that. And the fact um, that it's a double kind of uh, dual uh, action. Dual action. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the fact that you can spec whatever kind of pickups and controls and, 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 and vibrato or bridge that you want. You've reminded and the necks me. are great as well, aren't they? The, the necks are great and you can specify um, slim or thick neck. I've got a feeling this might be the slim. It's certainly not what I would call a thick neck. It's, no, it's, um, it's nicely proportioned. It, it, it's very nicely proportioned. It's got the, the nice wide medium oval frets. Mm. Oh, oh, and you can specify a custom. There's an option for custom on the website as well. So really? I guess maybe you can, um, you know, get them to, to make a different type of neck. Yeah. A V neck or something. I don't know. Yeah. Brass nut, which you don't often see on a guitar these days. No, actually. Um, they do say it adds some sustain um, somehow because it, it's got brass saddles and brass nuts so there's a kind of yeah. perhaps a reasoning in for that. A um, couple of string trees to hold the strings down because there's quite a big break angle yes, on that yeah. neck so so they're held down like that. Um, it's it's very nice I mean I, I love the tuners, the tuners are, the, are those quite classy. Oh, oh I like those um, buttons yeah. Buttons really mm. yeah. it looks really not really lovely really lovely. Actually with this unplugged like this yeah. It's bright but rich as well. Yeah. It's not just bright. No, exactly, exactly. Interesting the two guitars being made of Swamp Ash and Poplar. Yeah. Poplar's very related to order. It's that, that kind of those kind of trees live near water and they're and they're, they're, they're very kind of they're they're a lovely tone wood for a for a guitar. They're they're kind of a bit like basswood in this they're, they're this almost inert. Yes. They don't seem to give much to the guitar. They just sit there as a lovely platform upon which neutral. you put your pickups. Mm. Whereas a swamp ash can actually be quite a, a an important factor in the sound of the, the guitar. Um, I mean, traditionally, ash body guitars were kind of maple neck guitars, and poplar or alder body guitars had the rosewood fingerboard. Right. And it, it's it's not a necessary thing, but that tends to be the history of it. Um, so I'll just play a few sounds on yeah, this. I don't right. believe you can actually tell much the, the, the difference, but because um, we're different players going through different amps. But there's the kind of clean. That's, that's nice. a lovely sound. Yeah, yeah that's a lovely sound. Great that you've got that. The bridge pickup was really fat, yeah. which I liked, and yeah. then that was a nice surprise, though. That's a it? nice kind that. of Tom Petty-ish kind yeah. of thing. Isn't it? I'll go to Dirty Channel. That's great because even with a bit of gain on like that you can hear the, the real difference as you go through. You can and 
that that's a lovely thing to hear on a guitar and indeed on an amp. It's a, it's a nice thing where you retain the tone of the instrument. Yes. And, and these are, I mean, what I like about this, and perhaps that is the ash, this seems to be much more kind of clear mm, in, mm. in the fundamental tone of the, of the thing. Um, because you could hear that, the trebliness coming through everything I played there. Yes, is yeah. Yours, is yours a bit I darker? Mean, let's see, yeah. Um. Yeah, it seems to me that there's yeah. a different frequency center. That's exactly what I was expect. I would expect them to be that a bit, bit softer, possibly darker. Yeah. This a bit brighter, possibly more brash. Yeah, more if you up want front to, and more up front. So, you know, if you want to spec yours with ash body but with humbuckers, see what that sounds like. Yeah, yeah. It's going to sound very different to a, a mahogany body with and ma mahogany and maple body with, yeah, with humbuckers. Or, or, very different. Arguably a rosewood board or, or whatever. It it it, it, do, it does make, make a difference. Mm. You you put a rosewood board on a on a guitar and it does sound different to a maple yeah. board yeah. or a solid maple. So I do really like the versatility of these guitars. I'm, I'm warming to them very much actually. Yeah, yeah. Even has got out. Oh, I just, I whacked. Yeah. That is a, a a thing with this kind yeah. of um, bridge and. And uh, I did whack that quite hard. That's on the dirty channel of the yeah. amp, so you can still, still. I mean, I turned it right down, so. That always tells, I feel it's a uh, good marker of the quality of a guitar if you can plug in and use different settings on the guitar and they yeah. all work. Yeah, yeah. It's nice, I mean, they're very nice pickups. You say they're, these are Gordonsmith's own. Mm. Or hand, yes. hand yeah, they do, in, in themselves. Yeah. yeah, they call it. Mm. They're rather nice. And again, they're not really close to the bridge. They're, they're sort of the strings rather. They're, know, they're, they're a, a fair a way away. Mm. Um, yeah. But again, that, that you don't want yeah, you don't want to pick up overpowering it all the time because you can't roll it back and, and go make it go clean if it's too if they're yeah. too close to the bridge. And, and not these as much days, anyway. you know, there's so many options for adding gain, isn't there? That it's not yeah. really like yeah. when people were pushing a non-master volume, hundred watt. Yeah, well, we've mm -hmm. said before, you know, you, the, 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 those real powerful pickups came in yeah. in order to push the front end. Yeah, but you don't need that now. You know, the, the no. plethora of pedals that you've, we were discussing earlier on. How many distortion pedals are out there and what one are you, are you going to go for? And how many but, that we don't need that we're going to buy. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, what else can we say? Simple. Um, yeah, not a great deal, really. I just simple, think it's really well thought through. No, no push-pull pots, nothing overly complicated. Very simple design, um, very playable necks. Yeah. Um, very, very play yeah, I like playable the 12-inch radius on, on this. Yeah, it works well. 25 and a half inch scale. So it's a... It's a yeah, so it's, it's a very enjoyable guitar to play. Yeah, yeah. Price-wise, yes, they're um, very good, aren't they? Well, uh, this one with the Poplar body, twelve nine nine is what That's I've U seen. UK pounds. Online. This is about hundred pounds more. Yeah, because of. I mean, traditionally, um, uh, nicely grained body woods receive a sunburst or a natural finish. You, you get that all the yeah. time back in the day. Because very often in back, back in the day, there'd be a, a mineral stain somewhere and they wouldn't let that to be visible. In fact, the, there's one on there, but you know, it, it, that, that's, a, that's this guitar's fingerprint. If that was ever nicked, ever stolen, <laughs> yeah, mine, ha, mine had that mark there. Yeah. Um, but um, the old companies didn't like that. So they, they'd, they'd block color yeah, uh, yeah. things with, where the wood didn't look brilliant, but was still a perfectly fine piece of wood. So yes, yeah, so this I mean that is such a, a beautifully grained bit really of wood is, that yeah. really really is lovely. Yeah. I love the the dark tobacco tobacco sunburst on it as well, where it it uh, they don't have the red there. It's just kind of almost like a two tone yeah, like a two tone sunburst. Two tone right. sunburst, and it's lovely, really nicely done too. Mm. So yeah, the necks are uh, whereas the bodies are uh, gloss, the necks are satin. Yeah. So you get that lovely drag free playability. Very very enjoyable indeed. So there we have it. I mean. 
don't be fooled by this body shape because no. the body shape doesn't tell you what the guitar does. The guitar, this guitar is like any two, any great two pickup guitar. But of course it doesn't end there, does it? No, because you can go onto the website that I mentioned earlier and there is an option for almost every yeah. piece of the guitar. You know, yeah. it's, it really is, it's great. If you know yeah. what you're looking for, then you can get it put together to yeah. your spec. Yeah. Yeah, we've thoroughly enjoyed playing these. In fact, we've learned a lot about these guitars since we've done this, haven't yes. we? Yes, um, yeah, that's true. So uh, they're very nice, and we're going to just finish with a little bit of playing. And I hope you've enjoyed this. We certainly have. Yes, indeed. Cheers. Cheers.